my name is uh, Marcus. Um, I'm uh, responsible for the for the technical and solution architects here in the Nordic region for uh, at at Click, and I will talk about the subject that we call the the, the missing piece of the big data puzzle, and and. Um, I think a lot, uh, a lot of us are talking about all kinds of different tools to use, how to to to, to analyze data, visualize data, and, and store data. And and what I want to talk about is is more of what usually we are we are missing, and maybe what we could uh, do about it. Um, we're also going to look a little bit about the background, uh, what the businesses really need, what we usually need to to do something better, what's impacting our daily life and talk about external data, what we can do with it, what's the, what the challenges are. And, and uh, I think more than half of the presentation will be about a demo, so you can see hands-on what you can do, and you can do it exactly the same things when you get home, because it's on a free cloud version that I will use, so it's no, no, no big, uh, big investments if you want to play around with it and, and, and so on. Uh, before I start, I want to tell you it's it's, um, um, it's a very short story, and it's uh, I will reveal my age when I'll tell you this because it's about 20 years ago, not really, but uh, maybe 17 or something like that. I was working for a BI vendor back then also, and and uh, we were uh, were at a trade show like this, and there were some Russian guys coming to me and asking about business intelligence. They wanted to buy business intelligence, and I was like, yeah, but. They didn't want to buy business intelligence tools. They wanted to buy intelligence about Sweden, about the businesses in Sweden, and, and how Sweden works. So that was business intelligence, um, and that leads us on, on to the to the topic. So I think there's going to be a lot of graphs shown today about uh, uh, more and more data. We store more and more data. Explosions, uh, uh, petabytes of data, and so on. But a lot of this data is usually many times internal, because that's what we work with. We store data in ERP systems, in file folders, uh, file servers, etc. cetera, uh, ERP systems, regardless on the, uh, if they are in the cloud or if they're on-premise. And even the cloud services we use, we usually store our own data. So you can say we're a little bit introvert. We're looking, we're analyzing our own data, which is good, of course, but there's also a world outside. And I think if you th we think back to the, to the uh, Russian guys, they were maybe ahead of their time 17, 18 years ago when they really wanted to buy intelligence about the outside world, not where they were. So um, talking about this then, uh, of course, uh, I mean, there are a lot of things that impact business. It's the stock market. Uh, we all know, depending on uh, how the stock market goes, we will do better and we will do worse. Uh, market share, depending on the market share, we have a region, in a city, in a, in a, in a country, and so on. Uh, we will have to act differently. But sometimes it might be hard to actually know what our market share is compared to someone else's. And I think it, what's even more interesting is, is demographics. Because it's, I mean, all know about it. For example, uh, let's take young people in Stockholm, in, in, in inner city Stockholm. Their interest in cars nowadays is much, uh, maybe not as high as when uh, many of us were younger or I was younger. Uh, and it's very important to understand every local, uh, say, uh, the demographics when you go into a new territory or if you want to do any changes. But it can be hard to get this data. Weather pattern, you understand, I mean, it's the, uh, I don't even need to uh, talk about ice selling ice cream in Iceland, that's a, that's a stupid example, but there are much more better examples on how weather patterns will, will affect whatever we do, the supply chain, the logistics, uh, sales, and, and, and so on. Government regulations, again, something that can be hard to, to, to collect the data, and if you want to analyze and see how does it really affect what, what, uh, what uh, we are doing. So external data, this is all about external data, and not the uh, data that we collect in our house and store in our house. I mean, there are a lot of questions, of course. So where do I find it? And the short answer is you can find it almost everywhere nowadays. It's open data, these sites where you can either buy it or you can, you can get it for free. But there are a lot of questions like, for example, uh, what about data quality? Can I really trust it? 
Does it contain actually the actual data I, I need? And what is the format? Maybe the format is in such a way that it's uh, quite hard to incorporate in my own data model, my data analysis, and, and, and so on. So there are a lot of questions uh, regarding this. And of course, the cost is also one, one, one big thing. But uh, what I want to focus on is, 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 uh, is uh, because uh, the technical part of this is how do I get it into my own analysis? Because it can be a little bit tricky. There are, uh, I mean, things that, that will affect, for example, if we go to the European Union Open Data Portal, you can get data from there on all kinds of different stuff, but it's in, in various different formats. It can be the, the geocoding, categorization, um, just the format of data so we can get it into our data model. And it, it's not impossible, it's not hard always, but it's always a, it's a job that you need, you need to do. And, uh, and when it's a job that you need to do, it usually uh, ends up that uh, it won't get done because it's easier not, not to do. And I think there are a lot of people who want to do this, to use external data, but they don't use it. So back to the, not the Russians, but someone else just to, 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 to because it's close to this. I talked to someone else about um, a couple of years ago probably five, six years ago, they, in, in the car industry. They, it was in Sweden, it was not anyone from Volvo. And they said, for example, that they know that the stock market and the housing market, the prices of housing, affects car sales in Sweden. But he admitted that they don't use it, but they, they should do because they have a good gut feel for it also. But it's just, I mean, things that don't get done because it's hard. And maybe they do it nowadays. It was not Volvo, I can say that. It was someone else, but, but still. So what if you could, and this is what I will uh, demo to you, if you could just pick from a list on, uh, say, a cloud service, what you need, and it's uh, immediately in the correct format so you can use it in your analysis. You don't need to do a lot of, like, uh, quality assurance or, or format the data and so on. So you can uh, just, for example, if you pick from a list of, say, uh, diseases, uh, take for example alcoholic liver disease, and now you think, that, okay, so we can hear your accent uh, finish. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't pick alcoholic liver disease because of that. It's almost the only thing I can pronounce on this list. But it's a, it's, 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 it's a list of diseases you can use and see how they are spreading or, or how they are affecting um, people in, 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 in various regions. Before I do the demo, there's one thing I want to, to, to mention. I think it's very important. It is, there's a lot of talk about TCO in the industry generally. I mean, total cost of ownership, is it expensive? But I, I would say, does it really matter if you don't get things done? Because if you don't get things done, you cannot do the analysis, you cannot incorporate the external data easily. It doesn't get, does it really matter if it's uh, expensive or cheap or whatever it costs. So I would say we really want to focus on the return on investment, whatever the investment is, if it's a small piece of money, if it's a bigger piece, but do I get anything for it? And I think it's, it's, it's very important. Hopefully you can see in the demo when I'm gonna show you that, that it's easy to use, you can go home after this, so you can just sign up for Click Cloud. I'm gonna use Click Cloud, and you can do exactly the same things I do. Then there's, of course, versions you can purchase with more information, more data, and uh, some additional functionality. But uh, what I'm going to show you, you can, uh, you can do the same. So on we go with the, uh, with the demo, and uh, hopefully my Wi-Fi connection is up and running now, and it should be. I'm going to demo uh, then Click Cloud, as I said, our cloud analytics service you can use, sign up with, and, and Data Market, which is, uh, is basically a cloud service with, with external data in the cloud. You know, which you will see quite a lot on. And we're going to analyze a scenario, for example, where we're going to uh, pretend we're an internet company that sells internet services around the world. And the question is, where in EU is internet penetration high and we have lower market share? And normally you could say that the lower, where do we have the market, what is our market share? We might know, and usually we have the data, but do we have the data on where is internet penetration high? And this is just a stupid, simple example, but hopefully you, 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 you get the idea, and of course you can make it much more complex. So let's see if I have room for my mouse here. Before I do that, I'm just gonna quick, uh, quickly show for those who haven't seen ClickSense, and uh, this is not the main attraction in the demo, it's just so you have seen something else that I will show. 
uh, there are a few things in ClickSense that is very important in Click in general. That is, everything is searchable. It's like a big search index. So if, when I have my dashboards, my visualizations, I can just search for, say, say Arizona. Arizona, and I will be presented with all, everything that contains anything about Arizona, visualizations, uh, dimensions, etc. and then I can just choose for it. And the good thing about this in Click is, it's nothing you need to configure. It's no nothing you need to do to make this work. It's an automatic uh, uh, feature, you could say, of, of the Click product. The same goes when, uh, for example, if I want to select something, I just select the lasso and select a few uh, points there. Do the selection, you see everything changes, and all the selections will will be persistent globally in the application in the visualization. And if I move to another sheet, for example, I have the same selections. I'm just going to clear the selections now, and you can see it will change. So the whole application, the whole visualization, it's not just a set of few uh, uh, um, visualizations that are that are not tied together, but everything is a big uh, 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 data set. But that was not what the demo was about. So let's see. Let's start a new application. Let's call it Data Summit. Data Summit Internet. I create the application. Again, this is the Click Cloud service. You can do exactly the same thing without any, any investment initially. That is, of course. Uh, I'm going to choose to add some data. In this case, I've gotten some internet market share data from my marketing department. It's in Excel form. I'm just going to drag and drop it to, 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 to Click Cloud. And it's, it's loaded. And just to make it a little bit more simpler, I'm gonna, just going to rename this so we can uh, see what's going on. I'm going to make it rename this to uh, market share data from marketing department. Long name. And also quickly, what we can do just to, to 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 see what it looks like, and we can see the big difference. I can just load the data now, and create a quick visualization. And then I'm going to go out to click uh, the click data market, and uh, get some more data. So I'm just going to quickly do, a, for example, a pie chart, which is not that the best visualization always, but it's a, it's a good example uh, right now just to to see what's uh, what it's uh, what it looks like. So there I have it. Here's the, the market share data we have. Let's look into others, for example, and we can see that we have here Denmark 4.7%, Cyprus 5.3%, and so on. But what I wanted to do is to go to data market. I will go to data mar market and uh, ask for more data because I want to know what is the internet penetration around the EU. I could connect to my data source if I have an enterprise installation to uh, whatever data source I have, or I have my, my own personal files. But I will go to data market. And here we see I'm presented with, with what you could say external data, a lot of data sets that you can use in your analysis without any further like data modeling. For example, demographics, currencies, information about businesses, and so on. I'll go to, say, Eurostat. And uh, we can see, for example, tables on the EU policy. And for example, if you would uh, get the task to, to, to uh, take EU policies in, in, into your own uh, analysis, I, I'm, I'm sure you would need to spend some time on, on digging for data and modeling the data so it would, it would uh, fit for you. But we'll go back to choose tab tables by teams. And uh, for example, regional statistics. And uh, choose statistics from EU, and we wanted to know about what was it, information society statistics, that's uh, where probably internet computer usage is. And here we see, for example, that we have households that had, have broadband access. We have also we have individuals who have never used a computer. So if you would like to do something, you would uh, want to sell computer, computer hardware, computer whatever training, you could easily add in, uh, this into your uh, analysis to, to get this information. But I will choose households that have broadband access because that's what I wanted to, 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 to see. Just going to click in the boxes what I need, the most recent data, prepare the data. And now remember, I added the Excel file first. And... Um, now I'm going to add, add the, uh, so to say, the external data soon. Just going to take market share from data, from market department, put into geopolitical entity here. The data connection is done. Oh, 
I should not pull that apart. Now the data connection is done. I load the data. And now the modeling is already done. The connections are done. Everything is done. So now I can just go very soon to my, my sheet. Here it says create search index. You saw, you saw I did a search. Uh, so this is also done automatically. Now everything is, is searchable like in any search engine uh, uh, totally automatically. So, okay, this was an error I did. So I'm just going to choose the other dimension there. I'm going to add, for example, a combo chart where I'm going to have what my market share is and what is the internet penetration. So add dimension again, that's the country. And I'm going to use uh, households that have broadband access. And just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to just uh, label it internet access. And for example, use a, should it be maybe a marker? No. Yeah, it could be marker. It's fine. And um, then I'm going to add what my market share was. So I'm going to add data. A market share was, remember, the Excel file. Could be uh, and some other databases also. I'm going to just uh, rename that to market, market share. Then I'm going to do some uh, sorting. For example, market share like that. Just going to press done. And very easily you can see now, okay, so the, 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 the red bar is market share and internet access. So we can see, for example, Ireland, high, uh, qu quite high internet access, very high in Luxembourg, also in, in Denmark, Spain, etc. but we have very little market share. So very easy to do. And as I said, you can do it uh, yourself also. There was no tricks here and very little data modeling. I would even say very little uh, skills when it comes to, to, to regular, uh, well, BI analytics, uh, analyt analytics stuff. So with that said, I think I have a few seconds left. So what I wanted to say is uh, what lies ahead in the near future? And, and what we're looking at right now is to, to do this more automatically. And I know you could think, is this like Big Brother watching? And it doesn't need to be, and you don't have to do it. But that you could have like external data enrichment happen automatically. So if you're sitting and creating an analysis, a chart, or whatever, you could get recommendations from Click Data Market that maybe you want to enrich your data with this information because it would fit. And then it's up to you to use it if you want to use it, if you don't want to use it. But it's like getting ideas from the outside of what you could do. So that is what's in the future, not next month or in a couple of months, but, but, uh, but soon. And with that, is it seven seconds left? Thank you.